Welcome back to the NFL Prop Shop, the NFL week number three. We're recording this Friday night, September 20th for Sunday football, the September 22nd. And I'm joined by the man known for his prop game, Spenny Penny Bombs. How are you? How are we doing? How are we doing? It was always good to join you and do uh, do these uh, shows with you, Mike. And uh, how are we doing tonight, man? Doing great. We're off to a big start here for baseball. We got college football underway, but we're here to bring you guys the NFL prop shop. We're going to give you two props each. We're going to go over a parlay at the end of the show that's going to be either sides or totals configured to try to get you guys paid. We talked before the show, excited about the props. It looks like Spenny and I have some great overlap this week. And uh, listen, this parlay is going to get you guys paid out at plus 242. That's the way we do the show. Looking forward to talking about this with you, Spenny. My friend, the floor is yours. Open us up. Talk to us about the first prop we want to get paid with this weekend. Yeah, let's uh, let's jump right into it. Uh, it. Kind of a spot that I was waiting on, kind of jumped on a little bit earlier today because we're waiting for the uh, for the lines to come out. Uh, I was looking last night, but didn't have much on it. So uh, a little bit of a, you know, underrated sneakier spot here. Uh, it's a backup running back for Tampa, uh, Bucky Irving. I like the uh, over 29 and a half rush yards at uh, minus 120. And uh, we're going to take a little sprinkle as well, a shot on the uh, 50 plus uh, rush yards at plus 320. Uh, he's been great in his uh, limited work in the first two games this season. He had 62 rush yards week one, uh, 22 last week. He's had, you know, seen about nine rushes, uh, you know, a game. Um, you know, Rashad White was limited all week with uh, a groin injury. So it's kind of a, tough lingering injury so maybe they let Bucky get a little bit more touches this week especially against a uh, Denver defense that's uh, uh I think it's 11th uh, giving up the 11th most uh, fantasy points this year to running back so again they're not uh, they're not great against the against the run this year so I think uh, Bucky can have a, a decent day with uh, some extra rushes out there so you know, I like that spot for sure you know I like that spot in fact we were talking backstage a little bit about some touchdown props this week and Bucky's on my list. I think that's a great look to get it started. I love the, uh, you know, the factoring in the, some of the injury news and, uh, you know, taking advantage of a guy that could go out there plus 280 anytime touchdowns. Just too nice not to take a shot at as well. Speaking of injuries though, Spenny, I'm going to have a little fun spot here with this first game that I'm going to share with you guys. I'm looking at the Dolphins and the Seattle Seahawks game. Let's we'll start with quarterback Skyler Thompson. No passing touchdowns. None. Zero. Zilch. Plus 175. You know, we're talking backstage as well, and uh, you brought up a great point. And, you know, they bring in Huntley as well. They're not entirely sold, this Miami Dolphins organization, on Skylar Thompson being the guy. He's got three starts under his belt. He does have one touchdown in those three starts. But, look, just 20 – I'm sorry, just 78 of 150 for passing attempts for 461 yards – and he's playing a defense in Seattle that's coming off of that overtime game against the New England Patriots. I got to believe this game starts out slow. You know, we look at what Seattle's done. They've only given up one passing touchdown. Yeah, Bo Nix did score a touchdown in week one with the Broncos, but he rushed it in, kept them off the board. It was one early touchdown that Jacoby Brissett threw last week against them. And this defense is stout. They got five sacks already on the season, 11 tackles for a loss. The fact that we've got a banged up situation. Now we've got Skylar Thompson coming in. Might get the quick hook for Huntley if things don't go the way he want. Give me that plus 175. No passing touchdowns for this guy. We saw that Bills game. There was no points that second half after he came in there. I expect that to continue, Spenny. Uh, yeah, I like that. It's a it's a it's a sneaky, you know, off the board kind of, you know, make you think kind of play. And especially the way that he's played when he's come in, he hasn't done anything so far. So plus 175 for the shot where, again, like we were talking about in the background where, you know, if he doesn't play well, you know, maybe they have to go to Huntley and maybe he doesn't even finish the game. So definitely a good spot there for sure. Love it. Let's talk about your next play and get into action here. The floor is yours. Yeah, for sure. Uh, another spot here that I was uh, looking at today that I picked up uh, earlier before the show. Uh, he's been absolutely dominating for the Raiders since he's come in so far. Rookie tight end uh, Brock Bowers. Uh, I like him for a touchdown here at plus 240. Uh, I got that at FanDuel uh, earlier today. Uh, you know, he's, uh, he's getting a lot of targets, you know, just as many targets as, uh, you know, Devontae Adams, a ton of yards. Uh, the uh, Carolina Panthers uh, led up over 100 uh, yards receiving and two touchdowns over the first two weeks to tight ends here. Uh, just a nice spot where I think that uh, Brock Bowers can, you know, come in and get his uh, first NFL touchdown. 
uh, you know, in his career. So I like that spot for Brock Bowers. Anytime touchdown look with Brock Bowers. Advantageous for me to be filming this with you tonight because I've got a uh, hurt tight end in my fantasy league, and I think Brock Bowers is going to get the nod for me, especially hearing some of those uh, defensive capabilities or, or lack thereof to stop that tight end and getting a touchdown. I love it. I'm going to give you an anytime touchdown prop as well. I'm going to go to the Saints and Eagles game. And we see, you know, the Eagles, tough game last week. I'm not going to that Philadelphia side, though. I'm going to go over on the Saints side of things. I'm going to go to the new Michael Thomas in that Saints uniform. It's Chris Olave. Here's a guy that comes out, uh, you know, certainly capable, gets a ton of targets out there. And the big thing is just trying to pick apart this Eagles defense. As much as I hate to say it, I'm going to have to go out there and root for this. We saw Kirk Cousins, primetime Kirk Cousins, Spenny, on top of everything else. This guy, well, now 4-10 and in Monday night primetime spots, marches down the field effortlessly to go out there and shove on that porous Eagles secondary out there. It's a difficult position to be in out there. I think that, uh, you know, Chris Olave not getting on the board last week. We saw two passing touchdowns. Rashid uh, Shahid and Alvin Kamara find that reception touchdowns in a 44-19 beatdown of the Cowboys. Let's go to Olave. Let's give him an opportunity on the card here. Priced at plus 165. I think that's good money. That's a good price. That's a great price for him. Especially, yeah, I didn't score one last week, you were saying, and, and uh, you know, Carr obviously wants to get him heavily involved. He's he's that, you know, that that uh, number one guy for them. So definitely, definitely going to see that in a, in a good game that we should see with uh, Philadelphia and, uh, and the Saints in that game for sure. So we got four plus money looks out there to give you guys some opportunities for those that enjoy the prop market. You know, we love to get those actions in play, get the parlays out there as well. You know, we split the card last week, both Benny and I, um, but it's the parlay segment that really let us down. We were kind of laughing backstage about just the blowouts that we were uh, not on the side of, but tonight we're going to change the script here. We got a plus 242 parlay. It's the segment of the show. We're going to give you two of our favorite looks whether it be sides or totals, parlay them together, and this one will pay out at plus 242. I'm going to have my friend Spenny open it up for us. Talk to us about the first leg of this double hitter. Yeah, the information that we were talking about in the background there, you know, we liked a couple of spots that we were getting into here. And uh, it's your team, you know, obviously you're talking about Alave with the touchdown. You know, Alave can have his, Alave can have his touchdown there. And, uh, you know, but uh, it's going to be fly, Eagles fly, I think, with the, yeah. with the win, bringing it home. I think, you know, after that bad loss that you were talking that you were talking about with, you know, Kirk Cousins coming in in prime time and, and doing Kirk Cousin thing that you don't usually see in prime time. Uh, I think the Eagles are definitely they were talking in the, you know, the players were trying to step up. I think they, they really, you know, step up this week and uh, and, uh, you know, get this win home. I know it's on the road. They haven't played as, as well against the Saints uh, on the road, but uh, they're two and one. Uh, straight up in their last three games. Uh, I think they have a good matchup here where they, you know, can stop, if they can stop Kamara and, uh, you know, put a little bit of pressure on Carr, I think that they, they can get this point home. So I think it was uh, plus 130 for the, uh, that I got it out there, but I'm obviously going to add it to the part right here. My goodness, you're going right on the money line. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Money line yeah. changes the game entirely. Uh, what that does for us now is we look at, uh, and now plus 318 on this parlay piece. So even more excitement. Uh, certainly love the plus three. I think that's just a huge overreaction, right? I mean, we're this is that buy, yeah. buy low opportunity, sell high on the Saints, buy low on the Eagles. Nice little plus money price tag yeah. on that. Uh, you know, speaking of buying high and selling low here, um, you know, or, or vice versa, or scratch it and flip it, Baltimore Ravens, the Dallas Cowboys, going to be the second leg of this two-leg parlay. And I'm going to take this Baltimore Ravens team. They opened up as slight dogs. They've now slightly moved over to that favorite role. And this is an opportunity, I think. First of all, we've got an 0-2 Baltimore Ravens team. We've got a 1-1 one one Dallas Cowboys team. They're not exactly world beaters. They are coming off of that thrashing by the New Orleans Saints. i got to think player for player. The Baltimore Ravens are a better team than that New Orleans Saints team. Now, X's and O's are putting the pen to paper an 0-2 start. But look at this. We've got Lamar Jackson, 20 and 1, when he goes out there straight up against NFC opponents out there. The AFC doesn't see that NFC very often, but when he does, he crushes them. On the flip side, we've got refing in his favor as well. The only thing that can get in his way is Lamar Jackson himself. But road favorites, Ron Torbert, 34 and 19. He shows a 64% advantage. 
to that road team. Last but not least, winless road teams off a home loss early in the season are 80 and 43 across the NFL. Looking at a spot that does, again, include the Baltimore Ravens. Everything shows me Ravens in this spot there. Let's parlay those two together. It's going to be a nice plus 318 spot, Spenny. My God. It's the bird parlay. It's the bird parlay. Get the wings <laughs> out, baby. We'll flap them. Let's go. Yeah. Spenny, thanks for doing this, my guy. I know you've got a lot of things on deck here. Tell everybody where they can find you and what to expect from the world of Spenny Penny Bounce. Yeah, yeah. You can always uh, catch me at uh, X or Twitter, whatever you want to, you know, call it, whatever you still use. But uh, at Penny underscore eight there. And, uh, you know, I put up my plays all the time. Don't ask for nothing. Just, you know, put out the plays. You know, uh, I always like to, you know, obviously put some plus money plays out there for some good spots and some touchdowns and, and things like that. So catch my plays out there. And, you know, I do the shows here with Mike and uh, do some stuff with Pub Hub as well. So you catch me anytime with any of that stuff going on. The man known for dropping the bombs out there, joining us at the NFL Prop Shop. Appreciate everybody rocking with us. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video. Put your favorite plays in the comments as well. And for Spenny Penny Bounce, for all of sports money, have yourselves a glorious week three in the NFL. See you guys soon.